What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Um, welcome to my review of Spider-Man on the PS4. Um, yes, did you see me bragging about the Platinum? Woohoo. But yeah, if you didn't guess by the title, this is a spoiler review. So go away if you don't want to be spoiled. Um, but anyways, I've 100%ed it, so... This, this is what I think so far. It, it's, it's very good. Um, I don't know how I'm, how well I'm actually going to review this thing while playing it. I may just talk about it while I'm playing it. Like a let's play or something. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna chat about the game. This isn't scripted. Um, so overall, this is a super good game. I like the story a lot, even though it was a Spider-Man game, so it was kind of predictable about where everything was going to go. You know, with Dr. Octavius OG, I wonder who that could be. Not Doc Ock or anything, am I right? Um, and then of course, there was a whole thing with Miles. He got bit by a spider at the end and became the next Spider-Man. Um, we all knew that, because that's who the next Spider-Man is in the comics. It's Miles Morales. And then of course, Mary Jane was being annoying. She was all like, No, don't treat me like a child. But then she gets herself in trouble like 50 different times during the entire game. Which is pretty sad and annoying. Um, <clears throat> so, she was kind of irritating when she was telling us not to treat her like a child, and she kept getting in trouble. As you can tell, I'm very bad at improv for right now. Uh, car accident? Nah, I'll just let him die. <laughs> Wee! Go Spider Man! Um, but, anyways, as for the gameplay. Swinging feels super duper good in this game, as long as you're not trying to be precise. There were a few missions, a few um like side missions or some bonus missions, whatever you want to call it. Uh, challenge missions, like drone stuff. You had to chase down a drone and make it through like these rings for extra points so you could get gold. Now completing the challenge is no problem, but if you want those extra challenge points, you have to get gold so you can afford more suits and upgrades and skills and all that good stuff. And web slinging is not good for when you want to be precise. I mean, see, look, you can grab right here. This is perfectly fine. But could you imagine, like, trying to pick which thing you need to grab onto when, like, 50 of them show up? Look at that. <laughs> yeah. So during the challenges, when I was trying to go through the little colored rings and stuff, it was pretty difficult to latch onto the right thing. Like, I'd try to go for a building, and Spider-Man would latch onto the building next to it. So it'd be pretty difficult to get where I wanted to go. So, those drone challenge missions were definitely my least favorite of the challenge missions, but they were still lots of fun, like the rest of the challenge missions. The stealth ones, the, um... Uh... The combat ones, and the bomb ones. Uh, speaking of missions though, there were also side missions in addition to the story mode missions. And they were all very good and super fun. You got to play as Miles and Mary Jane at some points through stealth missions as they sneak through and explore places. And it was really cool! But the downside is that you can't replay those main and side missions, unfortunately. Which is upsetting because there were some I really, really like. You can't replay them unless you start a new game. Um, for example, the Miles and Mary Jane stealth missions were super fun to play, and I'd love to replay them again, just to see what kind of different ways I can stealth my way through uh, the, ba the bases and stuff. But unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, but there is tons of stuff in this game to do. Don't be fooled by how fast I completed it. I just have no life whatsoever. Oh, and the water. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's tons of stuff to do, there's thug crimes to stop, there's backpacks to collect with all these cool little nifty gizmos and memorabilia and, I don't know, cool references to Spider-Man stuff that'll make you nerd out if you're a huge Spider-Man fan. <clears throat> but overall, there's tons to do and tons to collect. There's landmarks you can take pictures of, tons of street crimes and stuff, bases you can invade. And, um, there's special, like, environmental missions that Harry 
Norman or no Harry Osborn. Whoops. Uh, I'm a fake Spider-Man fan. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, there are tons of side missions like that, environmental missions, so there's lots of stuff to do. But unfortunately, there's still a downside. You know how in a game like Grand Theft Auto, after you do every single thing, there's still replay value through online mode. Like, you can race, enter heists, and there's all kinds of events, and Rockstar is still keeping it going strong. After Spider-Man, when you do everything, there is nothing. I mean, sure, another street crime will pop up here and there, and you can replay the challenge missions and base missions and all that, but you can't redo the story missions or the side missions, and there's nothing else to do aside from that. So I can tell how just doing that would get boring after a while. So there wouldn't be much replay value. And I'm definitely on the side. I am definitely on the side that single player games can in fact stand on their own. Like multiplayer isn't needed. But for this one in particular, I really think it would benefit with some online multiplayer. Like imagine multiple Spider-Men racing from point A to point B in the city to see who can get there first. Like each person taking different routes to see who could claim victory in the race through their web slinging abilities and all this cool stuff. It would be amazing. It would be a super fun experience. Um, but unfortunately that's not here. Or you could also have uh, combat missions for online. Like put two players in a group of 100 enemies and whoever defeats the most by the time all the enemies are defeated is the winner. Or heck, you could just have Spider-Men fight each other! I mean, with the fights with Taskmaster, it proves that Spider-Man's moveset can work on himself, and he can fight with himself. So it'd be pretty interesting to see what kind of stuff could come out of multiplayer for this type of game. I just feel like it's a huge missed opportunity, and it really cuts back on the replay value because of that. Which is unfortunate, because this is a fantastic game otherwise. But as since I spoke about combat in this episode, combat also feels super good. You're mostly going to be pressing square a lot of the time, but you can use web slinging in combat to either throw enemies or perform swing kicks, or you could stealth attack enemies. Just all this cool different way you can take them down. But for the main combat, you're mainly going to be smashing square and triangle and all that. But of course, you can shoot a bunch of webs. You got a bunch of really cool web gadgets to trap foes or make them float in the air, or zap them and electrify them. Uh, I feel like there's a big point that I'm missing. Uh, there's something I really wanted to talk about. The suits? The suits, maybe? I don't know. I'll think of it later, probably. Uh, as for the suits, the suits are super cool. Super cool. There's tons of them to collect, like this vintage comic book Spider-Man. Uh, the one I'm using, this is my favorite suit. I love it so much. Um, but there's the white spider suit, the one that's displayed in promotional material and all that. Uh, there's a torn suit from the beginning of the game. There's the fixed up version of that torn suit. Uh, there's this sneaky stealthy spider suit. This neat little casual looking one, I guess. Uh, this black and yellow one. Sorry, I can't read the tiny text on the screen. Uh, there's this neat blue and black one. I like blue and black color schemes, so I like that one a lot. And then there's the Spider-Man Homecoming Stark suit. Super cool. I use this one for a lot of the game. Um, then there's this negative Spider-Man. Mr. Negative got his hands on Spidey. And then there's this red and black one that looks super cool. Looks like it's very bulletproof. <laughs> and then there's this punk one with a mohawk that I find hilarious. <laughs> Look at his shoes! <laughs> and um, then there's like this wrestler masked one. Uh, there's this really cool one. I really like it. I haven't used it for some reason. Um, then there's this green and black one. I like that color scheme too. There's another red and black one. Uh, then we got this one with spikes on it that looks super neat. And then the iron spider. Oh, let me select iron spider real quick. Iron spider is so cool. I, I think this is the one I used f throughout the majority of the game. Like until I got the Stark suit. And then I went to the vintage comic suit. 
but this one is definitely the one I used most of the time. It was one of the first suits I unlocked, and it's so cool. I love the Iron Spider suit. Can't wait for Infinity War Part 2. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Back to suits. Uh, and then after that, you got this, this shiny, cool, glowy one. Then you got this other shiny one. It's not glowy. It's just very, very shiny. And then you got uh, Sands from Undertale. Okay. And then you got this really neat one. It looks like a volcano exploding or something. Then there's the comic one I told y'all about. Uh, then there's this really loose, casual looking one. Uh, then there's this one from Spider-Man Homecoming. The homemade suit. <laughs> um, it looks super dorky, but pretty neat. Um, then there's this one that you get from the final battle with Dr. Octavius, Doc Ock. And then this one you get from doing all the Black Cat missions. It's like a, a Black Widow spider. And then you get Underwear Spidey for 100% completing the game. Oh yeah! Look at me! So nude and free! Whee! Ah! Hello, New York City, Manhattan, wherever this place is. I don't know, I live in Georgia, nowhere near here, so I know nothing about the geography of this town. Woohoo! Um, but overall, uh, this is my review of Spider-Man. I don't like giving review scores anymore, but if I had to, it would be a 9 out of 10. The reason for it's not a 10 out of 10 is because, again, there's a huge missed opportunity with multiplayer potential. Like I said, uh, tons of single-player games do not need multiplayer. Single-player games can still thrive in today's gaming world, and single-player games can still do great, like Zelda Breath of the Wild and all that. Um, there's tons of great single-player games out there that can stand on their own, but Spider-Man? I feel like this really would have benefited with some neat multiplayer, and maybe we'll see that in the future. Hear that Insomniac Games? Get some multiplayer for Spider-Man and it'll be a 10 out of 10 for me. Hope you guys enjoyed.